when happiness is the pursuit, God is not the priority. When, when you're going after happiness, it really doesn't matter how God feels. It really doesn't matter what God says. All that matters to you is that I need this, and if I don't get this, I'm not going to be happy. And if I'm not happy, ain't nobody going to be happy. That's a mouthful. I went to college and I studied theology. And what they taught me in college was from the writings of some other writers. Not necessarily from the Bible. Most of what we studied was people's commentary on the Bible. One of the most important people we had to study as a requirement was St. Augustine. As a matter of fact, a lot of, of our theology is taken from St. Augustine. St. Augustine was a Catholic. And in all the Protestant, uh, Protestant seminaries and all the universities that teach theology, you have to study St. Augustine. Now keep in mind, I said St. Augustine was who? He was a Catholic. St. Augustine, therefore, comes to the Bible from his perspective and his background. And 90% of the pastors that are trained in seminaries had to read and study this man. I had to as well. So he brings to the Bible his Catholic concepts, which we as Protestants, so-called, have taken on as our theology. Now when I read most of what they had us to read about St. Augustine's theology, I didn't see any kingdom anywhere. I graduated from university with a degree in theology and there was no class on the kingdom. Not one. As a matter of fact, I don't think we ever discussed the word in one of our classes. Just the word kingdom was never discussed. And I got a degree in God. That's what theology means. Theo means, Theo is God, and ology means study. So theology means the study of God. I studied God and never studied kingdom. And yet the Bible is all about a king and his kingdom. And God calls himself what? King. There's no question. 